and we are joined by the number two draft pick in the first round, Saquon Barkley. And the Saquon, we thank you for joining us. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you guys for having me. All right. Everybody wants to know, so we'll ask, how's the leg? Uh, the leg is feeling pretty good, you know, uh, taking it day by day. Um, you know, the training, <laughs> the training flies, staff. Huh? I know. The training staff and the coaches and strength staff um, have a great game plan with me. And, um, you know, I just try to attack the day and try to get better every single day. Do you product? feel as if you're losing anything by not being able to practice because of the leg? You know, uh, I don't feel like I'm losing anything because, you know, it's a lot of mental reps. And it's all about how you attack and approach, you know. If you if you come out uh, sad that uh, I'm not practicing, I'm not getting better that way, then you're not going to get better. But if you if you approach it like a vet and a pro, um, have that mindset that when you get the chance to watch practice, make sure you watch practice, take mental notes, um, be involved. And then when you're off to the side, attack your reps that you have to do to get back as quick as you can. Will you play Friday? Uh, you know, still still day to day. Um, you know, I, I, obviously I would hope to play. Um, I would love to play. I would love to play every opportunity I get. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm just kind of just following along uh, instructions and seeing seeing what they got planned for me. I'll tell you what, the, if you drew up the first time you touched the ball, you couldn't draw it up any better. I mean, you spoiled all of us. We expect that every single time. Yeah. Because what was that like to get out into the open and you're running free? And this is the first time you're running the ball in an NFL game. Um, you know, uh, it was just so so many emotions were just going on. Just not because of the run. Just you know, every MetLife Stadium. Growing up, uh, I was a Jets fan, but always wanted to play in that stadium. Mm -hmm. And um, to be able to finally play in that stadium and be able to play with my brothers and my teammates was a special moment. And that that the first run, you know, it was. It was, a, it was a decent run. Um, the O-line did a, a tremendous job uh, up front blocking. Uh, Evan Ingram did a great job blocking, too. And uh, the second-level blocks, um, I think it was Rhett. Rhett made an also, uh, unbelievable block also. Um, I got to find a way to, to get in the end zone and eliminate plays there. Um, that's the mentality that I had in college, and uh, that's the mentality that I'm going to continue to have in the NFL. Patience was what I saw from it. How, how much patience does it take to be able to kick it outside like that? Uh, yeah, you definitely got to be a, a patient back in this league. Um, you know, uh, the thing where I feel like I could I can continue to grow is understanding uh, the down and distance, understanding the sticks, understanding when to take the two and when to take the three, and when to try to do a little too much. Um, be, just being aware of the whole the whole game and the whole situation. Uh, but yeah, definitely patience. If you look at all the great backs in the league, um, where I'm trying to get to at one day. Uh, you look at Le'Veon, you look at Zeke, uh, Hunt, like Alvin, the list goes on. Uh, all those guys have great vision and great uh, balance and great patience. And I got to continue to, you know, with repetition and obviously more, more reps in the game, um, we'll continue to get better there. Now, you, you obviously played at a very high level in the Big Ten, but everybody always tells us it's such a quantum leap. Is it a quantum leap in terms of speed out on the field and that you're playing for pay now rather than, you know, a scholarship? Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's a, such a huge leap um, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's different. For me, speed is, is not the the biggest difference in my opinion. Um, what is it? It's, it's just the, the fact that the defense knows where they got to be, when they got to be there. Um, what the what what the other defenders doing and who they have help more than other people do in college. So it makes the game seem faster. But at the end of the day, if you run a four three, you run a four three. If you run a four five, you run a four five. Um, but they're so so in tune with the the repetition that they take in practice and understanding their scheme that they're in spots a lot quicker. So you have to take your mental aspect and take it to another level, understanding the run scheme, understanding the fits, so you can be a step faster. So it's not really the speed; it's just where you have to be and. Get Getting there before the defender. How about the schedule? You know, 16 games, only having the one by. How do you anticipate being able to handle the extra workload? Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, I'm trying to continue to learn there. Um, you know, that's what the, the trainers have uh, been telling me every time I try to get frustrated, saying, you know, this it's a 16 16 game season, and hopefully, God willing, even more. Mm -hmm. um, the last game of the year is I think it's like December 30th or something like that. For me, I would just be getting ready to play a bowl game and already have two or three weeks off right. during that bowl game. So so, you know, just obviously the wear and the tear on your body is, is going to be a lot different this year. But also with more time in the season and more time with games, there's also more time to recover and take care of your body. And uh, I thought I was doing a good job of taking care of my body, um, obviously, with, with this. But, you know, it's just a minor setback and just kind of, you know, was a slap in the face let me know that even though you thought you were doing enough, you got to do more. Mm -hmm. uh, who's What veterans so far have been the most uh, upfront about putting their arm around you and teaching you a little bit about what's what? Uh, I would say the 
you know, there's just so many of them, Eli, um, Snacks, um, Tree, uh, Shep, but I would say definitely uh, Odell and Shep. Um, just, you know, obviously just from the friendship that we had before, prior um, to coming here in camp and uh, just training with each other, building that relationship there, uh, you know, definitely I think uh, O and Shep are two great guys to, to model yourself after and the, the way that they come to work and the way that they carry themselves, and I think they've been doing a great job as, as leaders and as taking the young gun under the wing. Also, Jonathan Stewart. This, the list goes on and on, yeah. Talking with Saquon Barkley here on the Michael K Show. Uh, a lot of questions because the offensive line has been reconfigured. What's your take on them so far? You know, yeah. I, um, I don't know. I wasn't here last year, so I don't. I can't really compare them mm -hmm. to what happened last year. But in, in, in my opinion, I think that they're doing a great job. Um, I think that they're doing an unbelievable job. Uh, not only just in the game, but, you know, just the little extra stuff that we do on the side. Um, even in meetings, standing after in meetings. Uh, you know, Nate Nate's a, is a great leader. Um, Will, Will's been very impressive. He's very physical, and uh, they, they get to the next level. Um, they get to the next level really fast, and it uh, makes my job a lot easier. You mentioned you grew up a Jet fan. You may not get a chance to play on Friday, but how cool would it be to, to play against the team you grew up following? Uh, you know, just not even just playing against them, just being in that, that stadium with them will be will kind of be a, a little cool moment for me, but a very short moment for me because uh, obviously I grew up as a Jets fan, but that that's all in the yeah. past now. Um, <laughs> uh, it's all I'm all blue now and all New York Giants. So uh, will be a special moment. Just any moment you get to play in MetLife Stadium and get to play in front of uh, Giants fans um, and play with your teammates is, is going to be a special moment. Is there any fear whatsoever that because of the leg you won't be ready for the first game? Uh, no, I mean, there's there's not really any fear. Um, I think that I, I've been moving really well. Um, the only thing I think that can happen is, God forbid, if some some I tweak something again uh, right. while getting back. But uh, I think the 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 schedule I'm on and the, the process I've been going to going through and um, the strength staff and the training staff, I think that they, they have me on. I think they are, they've been doing a great job. And like I said, I, I feel really great. Um, but I'm just following following their lead. Now, it's weird, and I, I'm sure you've, you haven't been asked this. When I graduated from college and then I started working, I kept... It felt weird that I didn't have to go to class. Is it weird that you don't have to go to class, that this is now your job? Uh, it's not weird. I would say it's um, more of a life-saving thing because <laughs> classes are uh, definitely, uh, especially at, at Penn State, and you get class checked and you got to be there and, uh, you know, just the, the whole standard that you have at Penn State. Um, I, I want to say it sucks, but it's definitely a lot better now <laughs> that uh, I can just focus on football. Yeah. Now, now, my life is, uh, you know, come in here, take care of your body, Come here, practice, work your butt off, and spend time with your family. And it's repeat, repeat, repeat. So uh, football is a lot more easier, well, definitely, yeah. without classes. And, and it makes sense, too. I mean, okay, this is professional football. And I'm making air quotes, but that's big-time football that you're playing. So you're preparing to play big-time football. Oh, 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 by the way, you have to go to class and pass. Yeah, exactly. So that's tough, man. Exactly. Yeah? So what Michael didn't tell you is he kept going back to Fordham, even after he graduated. <laughs> but I didn't have to go to class. I just right. went around. I, I don't know. You're probably way too young to remember the movie St. Elmo's Fire, but it was like that. We just, the Rob low character just keep going back just to, to, to hang around with ask the, him how it turned out Saquon how did it turn it's out worked out all right yeah. <laughs> worked out I'm right. just saying don't be that I mean, Penn State's not that far away don't spend your off days going back there yeah. move on feel better man. <laughs> Michael <laughs> never <laughs> moved on see you Appreciate soon you. Good thank, luck. You. thank you thank you Saquon. that is Saquon Barkley you, the number two pick in all of the NFL and the Giants are expecting great things from him and what could be an explosive offense